Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, creating a IKEA uh, dinner set uh, including this uh, chopping board, uh, the cutlery and the bowls. So we'll be looking at uh, the box modeling technique and looking at how we can use utilize that to create a simplified version of the R model. Then we'll be looking at how we can use smooth mesh preview to add detail to our model and also looking at uh, you know touching on just optimizing our models by converting the smooth mesh preview into polygons. We'll start by uh, creating a new project, file project window and create, create a new one. And I'm going to put my one onto my desktop. If I can find it, there it is. And select and go accept. So now that I've created a new uh, project folder called IKEA, I'm going to take my images and place them into the source image folder, like so. So now we'll go back to Maya and we're going to set up some templates with those source images. Now I'm going to use the top view and go to view, uh, image plane, import image and it'll take me directly into the source images folder of the folder I've just created and then I'll select the cutlery, open that up. Okay, so at this stage um, our scene is not scaled to you know the scaling that we we want. Okay, so first of all we'll go into the preferences so we can click on the little running man down here or window uh, settings and preferences preferences and we're going to go to settings and look at the working units. So it's working in centimeters, which is good, except for um, this this guy is a bit small. So just to create a bit of a measurement tool, so I can get a accurate sort of measurement, I'll go up to create measurement tool distance tool, and I'll click one point and then go up and click another point and there you can see I've got my scale going up and I think it's about 15 centimeters um, after measuring one of my own forks so that should be about right and once I've laid down those, it's a bit hard to see on there, I might just change the uh, background color. That's a bit better. It's not going to move anywhere. And while I'm there, I'm just going to grab the rulers, throw them into a new layer, hide them, and I'll just name it. Okay, so now we're ready to start modeling. Um, one thing I'll also do, just so it's a little bit clearer, so I'll go back and select my image by going, turning off the template mode again, go into the attribute editor, and under alpha gain, under image plane shape, I'm just going to reduce that down a bit so you can sort of see through it. 